Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I am going to be a junior at Clemson University studying genetics in the fall. And I'm so excited to be back on campus and currently I am in the dorm. I am staying in Douthat East this summer for a summer camp if you're new here. If you're interested in seeing what this dorm room specifically looks like, you can watch that video right up here. But for now, we are going to be talking about what you should bring for your dorm room in 2021. So we are back for another sit down video, but I hope you don't mind too, too much. I promise the vlog style videos will be making more of an appearance once we, I get back to moving out of campus and moving out of the dorm room to get back home and moving back into my apartment on campus in the fall. But for now, we just have to make do with what we have and this is what we have so i'm just recording some videos for you in my dorm room when i have a little bit of free time in my day so i hope that you appreciate these and that you can take something away from them and I made a little list here of all the things that i feel like you really need i would say they're essentials for your dorm room in 2021 and a lot of these are things that I brought. I will insert some pictures into what my freshman year and sophomore year room looked like. So to give you a little background story, I'm going to be kind of giving you some tips for the different style dorms that are on campus. Clemson actually has three different types of living styles for freshman students, technically four, but that fourth one, is really only gonna pertain to bridge students or sometimes college athletes. Other than that, pretty much everybody else has three main living situations. So the first one would be your suite style living. And suite style living is when you have four or, well, two to four people sharing a room and a bathroom. I lived in a suite style freshman year and so a lot of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you for your freshman year experience are going to be geared towards students who are going to be living in a suite style dorm their freshman year. I think suite style dorms are a really nice way to get an idea of the dorm life but also to feel comforted by having your own bathroom uh, so that is a little bit nice. Then we also have what is called wet core style dorms. I'm currently staying in a building that is designed as a wet core. And wet core rooms are where you have just a single room where there's no bathroom or anything else in the room. It's just two people living together and the floor is co-ed. So we actually have male and female students. You can have a room of with two guys next to you and be living in a room with females. You could have all females or all males on your floor coincidentally. So it's just very random. But then the bathrooms themselves, you can actually close and lock the door. And inside of those, you have a shower, toilet, and sink. So it's just literally a traditional bathroom like you would have in your house on each hall style, but there's multiple of them. So that's, I would say, like in between your suite style and your hall style living. Then on campus, we also have what are called hall style, which is your very traditional style dorms. Those are gonna be your high rises and the shoe boxes. They're very traditional in the sense that every floor is the same gender and you share a bathroom that is very dorm style, kind of just like a public restroom type of feel. So that is another type of living situation. So wet core and hall style, I would say you would need essentially the same items and maybe even a little bit fewer, slightly different items than those students who are living in suite style. Um, so that's kind of the freshman year living situation. And then I'll be talking more about the other living situations when I put up my what to bring for your apartment video. But for now, we're just focusing on the dorm room. Let's go ahead and get into what you should actually bring with you. Okay, so first up, we're just going to focus on the bedroom. So for the bedroom, 
you in every single style room that you're going to be in you're pretty much going to have two beds a desk and a dresser and a chair yes so for the most part every single room is set up like this room right here i'm going to insert a photo so that you can see the very traditional style dorm how they are when you come in so typically you have a closet then a two dressers then a desk well a dresser desk the bed and a rock oh my gosh i keep saying a rocking chair and a desk chair and that's about it so the closets in clemson some of them in the hall style dorms do have doors that close but in a lot of the newer buildings like core and Douthit, the closets are just open so there's not actually a door to the closet it's just an open kind of situation and personally for me i did not like that i felt like it felt very messy and it seemed like everything was just kind of exposed that way and i didn't really appreciate not having a curtain of some kind like it, it just didn't work for me so what I recommend is to if you don't like having your closet exposed if you feel like that's kind of where the mess of your life is going to live I would recommend getting some sort of curtain um, even like a bed sheet or something that you hem or just anything like that to just hang up across your closet just so that that is closed off a little bit and doesn't make your space look quite as cluttered um but i would look into whether or not your community actually has a closet door or not i just know for a fact that doubt that east and core do not okay so now that i got my little closet rant out of the way we're going to focus on what you should bring for each kind of section of the room that you have been provided with. So first of all, the bed. You have a bed that they give you that can be adjusted. The height of the bed can be adjusted. My freshman and sophomore year, I didn't fully loft my bed. I kind of kept it somewhere in the middle. Uh, sophomore year, last year, I kept it very low. And junior year, it was a little bit high. Um, I'll insert a picture here of my freshman year room and then my roommate's bed freshman year because her bed was fully lofted. So that gives you a little bit to work with as far as what you want to do. Then the first thing I would recommend is a mattress topper. So you're going to hear this a lot, but these beds are not the most comfortable. Um, our beds at Clemson, I would say, are kind of thicker. Some of them and some of the dorms are a bit thicker, which is nice, but I just did not like the springs digging into my back. So also they make a weird noise when they rub against your sheets. So I just was not here for that. I needed a mattress topper. So I got a three inch mattress topper and I actually went ahead and purchased another three inch mattress topper for my apartment next year um, because it's a different size bed. Now, my roommate I'm living with next year said that she has never had a mattress topper and actually likes the beds here. So, I mean, maybe you can experiment if you don't want to spend the money. But as far as mattress toppers go, I would recommend investing in one that is going to carry you through your time in college. They can be a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth it to find one that works for you and find one that you're going to enjoy sleeping on and that is comfortable. Uh, so it's, it's worth the investment because you're gonna need your rest and your sleep. Something to cover our mattress with. So I usually get some sort of bed bug or like protective cover to zip around the whole entire mattress before putting the mattress topper on just so that there's no like whoever had this mattress before me we just keep all of that contained for the year um then i put the mattress topper and a mattress pad over that and then my sheets and i actually usually only bring one set of sheets to college because typically like if i'm washing my sheets i'm just going to put them right back on there's really no need to like wash a set of sheets and have another set of sheets that's just like space that you don't need to take up when you go to college because you're trying to bring as little as possible so one set of sheets will do just fine and then of course a comforter if that's 
something that you want to have of course you could choose not to have a comforter and just have like a nice blanket but i just think a comforter makes the room look cleaner and more put together i also got a throw blanket freshman year of course mine had llamas on it because my whole room as you've probably seen from the photos is very llama themed i also got a throw that is more fall themed for the fall i am a sucker for fall things so i am worried for myself come the fall in my apartment i got a throw blanket for my bed and then i also got a body pillow to keep on top of my bed just because i sometimes like to sit and read in my bed the chairs here can be a little bit uncomfortable and i just like do my work there so whenever i wanted to like read my book obviously i didn't have a living room or anything so i would just sit in my bed and read and it was nice to have that to kind of like prop up against my back as just like a way to chill out on be my bed and not like ruin my good pillow throw pillows that i had up there um so of course everybody also brings a lot of throw pillows you have nice pillows it's like the thing that you're so excited for but i also recommend do not forget this pillow that you sleep on <laughs> freshman year i left my pillow at home so i was like all excited about everything i had in my dorm like all the pillows and blankets and everything i'm so excited about it and then I got to Clemson, I had set up my bed and everything, and I went to go to sleep that night, and I was like, wait a second, <laughs> I think I left my pillow at home. It did work out for the best, in the sense that I just went ahead and ordered a pillow to have sent to school. So I had a pillow for school and a pillow for home. So when I was like traveling back and forth, I didn't always have to remember to like grab my pillow and be doing all of that business. So I would recommend getting just like one other pillow to have at school with you and bring that pillow to sleep on. <laughs> the next fun thing about your room that everybody loves to know about is decor so you're gonna definitely want something to spice up your room you could bring photos you could bring picture frames just put things in picture frames postcards is a one thing that i did a lot of um you can just bring little items like diy stuff that you paint and hang on the wall we made these little tassel um like a little tassel garland to go in my room so definitely like pinterest some of these things and just like do it yourself um you don't have to purchase all of the decorations to put in your room you can definitely get creative and make some stuff for your room all on your own that is going to save you a lot of money so that you can have a very aesthetic pinterest like room without spending like tons of money another big thing is like fairy fairy lights really spice up and can make a room seem very cozy warm and inviting and they're like three dollars sometimes at like target or something so i would a lot of times wrap them around my bed frame and it would just add a little bit of like warm light We're on the topic of lights do not forget to bring a desk lamp and i would also bring a floor lamp um sometimes if you're not a big fan of like the harsh overhead lighting at night it will get very dark in the room if all you have is a desk lamp so i really would recommend getting a floor lamp with kind of some soft lighting of some kind because that's going to really set the mood for you and not have like these harsh lights on when it's 10 30 and you're finishing an assignment um or you can just flip that lamp on in the morning when you're getting dressed if your roommate's in bed or something so then on the topic of laundry i actually had a laundry uh bin type of fabric bin um that i got from pottery bar and teen i believe that was amazing i love it got it monogrammed um to so it was gray to match my room and i got it monogrammed in pink which was my other color and it just looked so cute and i would just hang it on the edge of my bed and that worked really well but i also had a little compactable fold up laundry basket that i believe i got from target but that i actually have it with me um so maybe i'll insert a clip here of it but it just folds down and up and i liked to have both of those because whenever i was doing laundry i would just kind of empty my laundry ba bag 
and take it to the washer and then the basket was just easier to get like the wet clothes out of the wash to put on my drying rack which is another thing i recommend now if you dry all of your clothes like that's great go you and i am so glad you do not need a laundry um or like a laundry rack thank you i have a lot of my stuff here because i'm living here for five weeks but this is a laundry rack that i had and it just like folds up like this and then when you're ready to use it oh it stands up tall um and it works really well because it takes up because it takes up a very minimal amount of space in my dorm room uh one thing that can be very easy to forget is a trash can um you're definitely gonna want a trash can to just like slide under your desk like a little mini trash can to have in your room for some sort of trash because trash actually accumulates very quickly i just got mine from target i believe it might have been from walmart but one of the two um just a very cheap and expensive trash can um Another thing is you don't necessarily need a fridge microwave or a micro fridge, but I would recommend having a mini fridge or something like that in your room just because sometimes it's nice to keep little snacks in there. And a lot of times I would keep like my milk and stuff to make coffee in that. And that was very nice to have. Another thing I really liked having in my room was extra storage. So for me, only having three drawers worth of places for my clothes was not enough by any means. So extra storage for things like your brushes, some extra clothes, sweatshirts, a lab coat, like all of those things that you just have to have in college depending on your major. Um, if you have art supplies, anything like that, it's just good, good to bring some extra storage into your room. So moving from that, then you have your desk and at Clemson, at Clemson, the desks do not have a lot of storage space at all. There's like a little shelf underneath the desk, but it's not a lot. So I would recommend getting some sort of desk topper. Now, another way that I really saved a lot of money on that is a, I could not find any desk toppers at all that would perfectly fit the dimensions of the desks at Clemson. Um, I don't know why they were like going to be really small. And I felt like that was going to be kind of awkward. So we actually took the measurements and my dad built one for me and then we stained it and um you'll see the picture of that from my freshman year room i also used it sophomore year as well so that desk so that just added a lot more storage and honestly really made the room i feel like look super cute one thing that my roommate brought was she got this thing from ikea that you could hang on the back side of your bed or you could hang on the wall and she would just like hang stuff up there and you could like add pegs to it so that's another option for you if that was something that you felt like you needed some extra storage for your desk i also had a little desk mat that i kept on my desk this is also not something that is really 100% necessary, but it's just something that I wanted a to add a little bit of cuteness to my room But also just so that when I was writing it wasn't just like me writing on the desk. The desks are pretty smooth here, but um, Also, I feel like if you're in Delta and you have like this color desk and dresser It looks very cute, but I was staying in core freshman year where it's this like nasty light wood color and I feel like you need something to really brighten up the space so it doesn't seem so dull and like classroom like so uh and i feel like that's the color that's a very traditional like dorm look so i also recommend bringing a keychain and a place to hang your keychain so bring a keychain to keep your keys or like your room key and stuff on so that you always have that with you and then by your door leave a space to hang your keys so that when you are leaving and coming back or leaving you know to grab it and put it back as soon as you get home that way you do not run into the problem of locking yourself out it will happen if you don't do this so sometimes having a 
bringing a speaker is another thing that might be good to have if you know that you're, you're the type of person that is going to want to like hang out outside on Bowman or something or just like have music playing while you're walking around your room to have some sort of speaker or speaker like device in the room is a great tool to have moving on to the bathroom and again like I said this bathroom this video where I'm talking about the bathroom is mostly geared towards students who are living in a suite style dorm so if you're gonna be in a hall style dorm this isn't really gonna apply to you as much you're still gonna want towels probably two towels to rotate between a washcloth and maybe like a towel to just like dry dishes if you ever want to like wash a mug or something and then some sort of like basket or carrier so that you can put all of your soaps and everything like that in when you're going back and forth to the bathroom to get ready um but that's kind of pretty much like all you would need um and like shower shoes for when you're taking showers so the rest of this is more if you're going to be having a bathroom of your own, such as a suite style. Um, so of course, extra storage, again, is nice. In core, we just have one drawer underneath the sink, and that wasn't really enough since we were gonna be storing toilet paper and some stuff in there. So we did get something to put next to. Well, actually some rooms do have two separate bathrooms. The room I was in only had one, and a lot have two, so you would have two. Um, that's kind of confusing, but most people would have two drawers of storage, so you might not need extra storage. I just happened to because of the way our room was set up. I do recommend bringing some sort of frame or something to put up in your room or in the bathroom because like, it, otherwise it's dull and you don't want that. Um, then you would probably want to bring some sort of sponge holder, some soap, um maybe a mat to dry a couple of dishes on if you have a mug or something um of course cleaning supplies always bring um something to clean the toilet and stuff another trash can you're gonna need uh we also had a little thing to go on top of the toilet for a toilet paper extra toilet paper and tissues um of course you'll need a shower mat and we actually uh I sewed on a little um, ribbon so that we could just hang our shower mat when we were done using it so that it would dry and be out of the way and then I would highly recommend bringing a curtain um, a shower curtain so they give you a shower curtain you can just keep that one up because it's more of a shower liner but they're actually I brought a curtain freshman year and it made the room look so much nicer like it looked way more like a real bathroom and it did not feel like dormy at all having that shower curtain so I would really recommend getting a nice cute curtain that you can hang up and that just brings you joy mine of course had llamas on it so the other thing about suite styles is a lot of them have an entryway of some kind where you enter and you have the room doors and the bathroom doors so it's just kind of this open space in that space my roommates and i had a mirror that we all could use a big like floor mirror um we also had a hook for our dustpan and broom and then one wall was dedicated to photos so we just had filled that wall with all sorts of photos of us and our experiences at clemson but i would recommend having something just to kind of fill that space in there so it doesn't feel so empty um, mirrors really help with that to make it feel a little bigger and less closed off so what do I bring to the closet besides my curtain? Um, actually, I only had a shoe rack in there and then a couple extra bins that had like extra toothpaste and tissues and stuff like that that went on that top shelf. But other than that, I just had hanging clothes and a shoe rack to go in there as well as a vacuum. I did bring a vacuum and you're going to want a vacuum. Just trust me on that one. I did have a coat slash bag hanger. Um, I purchased one from Bed Bath & Beyond that typically goes on the doors, but it did not 
fit on my door which was totally okay because it actually fit on the back side of my bed um freshman year i actually lived in a room that was very small smaller than the typical college students so it didn't fit on the back side of my bed because it would be too close to my desk so i actually hung it underneath my bed and that worked really well as well so something to hang like all those extra bags because girls i know we have some bags some coats when it's in the winter time somewhere that you can hang those things uh that's kind of out of the way it's nice then just like a couple extra things that i would recommend bringing would be some of your favorite mugs a knife fork spoon you're gonna want a cutting knife i just trust trust me you're gonna use it at some point um spoons bowls plates cutting boards those things are nice to just have in a dorm room even though you don't have a kitchen it's just like every once in a while you're gonna want something and it's good to have those um, if you want to bring a coffee maker of some kind, I bring my espresso machine. I love having my espresso maker. It saves me a lot of money versus going to Starbucks every single day um, or Dunkin', which is my true weakness. Um, I would recommend bringing with you some sort of book. Um, if you enjoy reading, don't forget to bring a book or two for the semester. Also, games. Um, it is, I feel like people forget this a lot when you go to college, like, one of the best ways to bond and meet people is to have games like board games cards um, or if you want to bring like a Wii or something like that those are always so fun to have in the dorm room um, and then I would also recommend a water bottle do not forget to bring a water bottle because you're going to be doing a lot of walking and it is very hot um, but that's kind of all I had we did not have a couch we didn't have like a futon or tv or anything in my room freshman year and I feel like that actually worked really well for me so anyway I hope this was a very inclusive list of what you're going to need for your dorm room in 2021 what you should bring for your dorm room as a freshman student for a student living on campus in college so I am so thankful you're here and I can't wait to see you on campus in the fall I love you all and remember to go out there and live boldly, fearlessly, and authentically you. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.